Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 78 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Today we get to see, well, whatever this quest map is. So, in this valley called the Dragonflute Ravine, in the depths of it there's this metal dam. And our craftsman group has arrived in front of it. So, the rain's gotten pretty bad. It's a good thing he decided to come. This is bad! The deformations are worse than I thought. With the rain like this, it won't last much longer. Jeez, I'm not gonna try to act out that guy's stupid voice. But anyway, the old guy says, yeah. If it fills up, then the town downstream would be completely washed away. And even since before, the corrosion on the dam has been pretty bad. But he didn't think the deformation would get this bad. It must be because of the long rains. But now that he's brought this finished good that he had for this whole time, the dam should be able to handle the rain just fine. Just wait! Okay, so wait a minute. You said it was corrosion that was the cause, but isn't the deformation here kind of odd for that? So they take a look at a given pillar. So yeah, it's true. These screws are not corroded. And despite that, the deformation is quite bad. What the hell's going on? <laughs> so what the hell's that noise? It's not breaking up on us, is it? Yeah, I think there really is the kind of vibrating sound in the way, way background. Even the rain drowns it out. But anyway. Don't panic. This sound is not the dam. Uh, but this could actually be worse than that. Ooh, that sounds bad. Alright. Katarito is following some kind of human footprints. And she's sure that her friendly old man is ahead of her now. So yeah, he, she's been following the craftsman group. And she's finally getting into the depths of this gulch as well. So, she wants to help out the old man. And she's sure she's going to be useful here. She says the mountain is crying out. Well, whatever that means. Hey, maybe it's that sound that those guys heard. She hopes the old guy's all right. So she apparently feels the ground moving and all as well. And being uneasy, 
She starts to hurry with it. Hey, she's back in my party. Alright, so these guys also feel the ground shaking. Fia's hoping it, none of the ground like busts open on us. Alright, Eol reports that the group of craftsmen and their carriages have left traces in this area. And she also found Kaltorito's tracks, I guess. How could you tell? She floats around most of the time. Ah, whatever. And as expected, we caught up with them. So, the mechanical dam that that old guy and the rest of them were headed for should be deeper in. Alright, let's hurry. So, she's back in our party, but she's way over here. And... Oh yes. This is the event you have to trigger in order to finish the map. I mean, it says right here. Get her to it, and that's a victory. The game wouldn't lie to us, obviously. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> These ghosts are great for exploring because the walls don't slow them down. Uh, but sometimes things like this happen. Oh goody. Now, my priority here, basically, is to level up my 26 level characters. I still got three of those. Oh, and Kazurito, of course, but she's kind of stuck where she is. Ha <laughs> sucker. Oh. During my trial run, I had the battle animations on. I forgot to turn them off. Isn't Katharito cute, though? Her tail is unusually big, though. Is it supposed to be bigger than your thighs? Well, I suppose some animals might. Hmm. Now, that crazed Undine we met over there. Hmm. Yep, I'm gonna have to capture this guy. Let's have Yoda and soften him up. Come on, uh, 16 times 2. Sure, great. The nice thing about Yoda oh, yeah. is. These Rizami Ruhlons are actually fire elemental and only have fire elemental attacks. 
so they can't counterattack against him. Hmm. Well, he's gonna need a critical hit in order to finish this guy off. Two, I guess. Well, it happens. Well, that's not an easy... Oh, great. Mercy rings on. should work. Alright, the reason why I decided to kill off two of these guys is... Well, almost kill off two of these guys. Wait, uh... Yeah, I'm capturing both of them. Okay, to get Yorin and Yur, Yorin and Rurin to defeat them for experience points. Let's see, one star spirit type. I don't need to capture you. Die. Oops. In the previous map I had him softening up enemies for Calorito to kill, so he had the mercy ring on. You know, I do need more lightning beasts, this and that. For the various things I could be building. This is the classical one star giant, and I don't need those captured either. I mean, these are two star spirits. I also learned that I don't need those last time, didn't I? Well, somebody needed to scout the place out. Ho ho ho. No oh, crap this. These guys have pretty extreme damage reduction. 
on all ranged attacks. It's easy to forget that, you know? You know what? Kill this thing you're standing next to. Oh, Skulas. Yep. Oh no, you did not just step on one of my... Well, you did, but... What are these guys weak against? Lightning. I can handle that. Maybe. Well, if I can't. Which is another reason why I want need lightning beast parts. If you get enough of those, you can make a lightning fist. Meh. I don't care enough to make a big deal about it. No, it looks like I directed Katorito in the wrong direction. Well, actually, that was completely intentional, but... Hmm, red liquid. That's great. With this, I'll be able to build the... the, uh, fenced red house. And get fire resistance when I need it. Take that feather so this skewla doesn't. Twenty damage times three. I'll take the risk. You wanna see this enemy? A bit odd, isn't it? Okay. Deed Helm. Defeat this enemy. Wait, I need to capture this one. Capture this enemy, Deed Helm. Good boy. Oops. Oh, hey. Kodokaisha.
These domes have been afflicted with so much paralysis he can only move one square. Oh, look, I fixed it. That was convenient. Oh, an enemy. And I don't have anybody that needs to kill in the vicinity. Yeah. Detail will get there shortly. Hey, let's take a cheap shot. We Hmm. Nothing for you to do. Disappear. Alright, d -tom. No, you don't need to capture this. Just kill it. Hmm. Let's see, one star common beast. Die in a fire. Wait, I did a capture move anyway. No. Oh. You don't see that very often. Okay, there's two reasons I need to take that back. First, I don't want to capture it. Second, I don't want to see the animation. Giant fish fin. Hmm. Actually, of all, you can stay behind. There's one more mining point. I think it's... I don't remember where it is. Oh wait, duh. I'm an idiot, pay no mind. Navar, stand here and look at this wall for the next 20 turns. Now, normally this is the kind of important duty I would give to Deet, but Deet needs experience. And I wish he would get his double move occasionally. He's falling behind the faster characters. There we go.
行動開始だ Those are both three star enemies, so I get to capture both of them. Okay, Mercy Ring, great. And. Earth Fist! Likely the Skula will walk up to her and attack. And get mauled, of course. Man, it's so much harder to maul enemies when they don't come up to you. I mean, making you have to chase them down. They just have no respect for the working man. Oops. <laughs> That could have been bad. Hey there, Dev. I got your attention now. Hey, can you take care of this, D? Uh, yes, but not with that bow. This should be fine. It's a pretty weak enemy. Okay, I heal you. This is great. Do they only have two movement points or something? No, they have four. She ran herself out of fatigue, but... Well, I guess that's why. Interestingly, a physical attack does more damage than the magic one. Hmm. Aquatic Beast's scale. I think I needed something like that for something or other. Well, let's not worry about that. We've got an event to see. Alright, so she thinks uh, the old man's close and calls out for him. So, the noise has gotten bigger too. And she's got a bad premonition about it. Oh ho! So in the lake that was made by the dam, there's a big swell of water and this thing bursts out. You might not be able to tell, but it's pretty damn big actually. At first she mistakes it for a dragon. And its body type is a bit like those eastern style dragons. But anyway, no. She identifies it as not a dragon. Although she doesn't know what the hell it is. Nah. It's bigger than anything any other living creature she's seen before. So 
so dragons are usually considered pretty big by human standards, but this is even bigger than that. Great. But it's a really bizarre creature. So, she freezes in her footsteps looking at the thing. Hmm, well, okay. So, even Avaro sees it wherever the hell he is. Oh yeah, he's staring at a wall. So, it's basically torn up the dam pretty well. As well as a good deal of earth in the vicinity. It's not looking at us, however. Which of our takes to be a good thing. It's looking at something down at its feet. Oh, he sees it. Right there, isn't that where all the engineer mechanic guys are? Fia sees that's where Kazurito is too as well. Too as well. It's right in front of the monster. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they changed the goal on us. Now we have to defeat that thing. Okay, everybody just stand around looking pretty, I guess. If I could do something besides stand around looking pretty, trust me, I would. You know what? That looks like a melee attacker, so I'm gonna move her back. Yeah, haha. Take some damage. Oh, wait, what's this? Absolute concentration. I can't deal damage to it. At all. Period. It's basically, basically a rip-off ability. It says... Plot needs to happen before you can actually damage this thing. Try it again! Work this time, work this time, work this time. Hey, you know what? I should show you what this jerk looks like. Work this time, work this time, work this time. That is pretty big. Well, we're doomed. Oh. Funny thing is, if it... Come on, Katharito. The reason you can't hurt it is because it's artificially invincible. Otherwise, you'd be able to beat it easy. But anyway. She's getting knocked around by this giant thing. Now she's asking for the old man and Navarro to help her out. To save her. As she does this, she grips her necklace. The one made from the dragon treasure stone. Because Navarro made it for her, she's been able to develop this far. And the one who's helped her out on this way hasn't been just Avaro. Whenever she's been in trouble, somebody's come to save her. When her father died, it was the people taking care of her. 
supported her, even though she showed no real signs of developing as a person at all. And when the Ice Lord came to kill her, those guys sacrificed their lives to protect her. And then when she was lost in a human town with no place to go and coming close to collapsing out of malnutrition, she just happened to meet the old man and he saved her as well. It's always been like that. She doesn't know what to do and when she's about to give up, somebody helps her. Hmm, it's true that that would kind of give her a lesson that she doesn't actually need to be good to be effective at anything herself, doesn't it? After her father died, a lot of the dragons were looking to her to lead them, but she wasn't able to live up to expectations. The best she could do was survive and get away. And even then, she didn't even know how to feed herself. And even when she was living with the old man, he took care of her, but she was of no use to him. And when he was injured, he couldn't even carry luggage and well she couldn't even carry luggage well so ultimately she got frustrated with this and that led to her lending a hand to Avaro and crew but she still thinks she was only a hindrance to them in the end and when she finally got enough power to fight on her own. Well, that's where she thought she was. She got a true dragon form, if only for a second. So she was thinking she would really be useful one day, believing in herself and developing herself. I mean, she wanted to become a true dragon, as soon as possible even, and she thought it would finally come true. She really thought it would come true. Oh, that's right, she can't let it end here. She hasn't paid back the people who, all the people who helped her out. She can't die here. She can't give up here. Oh, Fia said this to her some time back. Because Fia said it, whatever she said in the line before, I guess, there's no doubt that it's true. Oh, this is about that prayer that Fia taught to her. She can pray for whatever. Just think of what you want to do and think of Avaro's face. So, she wants to save everybody. And she wants to be a great dragon that her father won't be ashamed of. Alright, so she closes her eyes and clutches her necklace and prays. <laughs> she prays to become a great dragon that can help everyone out. 
Rather than being protected all the time, she wants to protect others. And rather than someone who gives up and cries, someone who stands against hardship, believes in herself, and fights to the end. I guess that happened. Wait, she left our party. What's all with this leaving and joining our party business? Yoink. Hey, Catherine, you we're here. Oh man, that dragon. Could that be Catherine? <laughs> So it's fighting the giant monster. Well, I haven't let it get that far yet, but yeah, it will. Yeah, it's no good. It's not responding. But with that appearance, there's no doubt. It's Katorito. She's really doing her best in order to save the old man and them. Do your best, Katharita. We'll be there as soon as we can. Hmm, how nice. Okay, yeah, Avaro was only there to get control of that room because I like controlling everything. In my first trial run, I actually lost this level because I took Katarito from the spawn point, ran her straight to the event, and my characters weren't ready to come and support her. It takes, so uh, five turns, eight turns, whatever. But, but without support, she'll actually die in this battle. Oh, interestingly enough, we can now injure the giant whatever it is. That's kind of a cool voice, actually. Now, it's not going to spend a lot of time paying attention to us. Although, if I played my cards right, it might throw a area of effect attack away from Katorito. Oh, hey. Yeah, it works for me. Oh, animations are still on. I was thinking this is taking a long time. No, I've been curious. So, Katorito's our ally and we can still heal her. But only with my healing characters and not with items. That would be too convenient, I suppose. I can give the kill to Diethelm or Lurin or Yorin. I think I'm gonna stick with Diethelm actually. Hey, where'd you go to attack Katarito? Man, stomping on the weak. I think you're some kind of big powerful monster or something. I realized during my trial run that my highest level characters are all my healers. Because I spent so much time 
Hey, it's weak and finally. Ouch. Because I spend so much time with my healers out healing things. Yeah, this should be fine. Now, I don't want Kalorito to get the kill because she won't get experience in this farm. Perfect. Kodo Kaisha? Yep, my first time I had to try and wind my way through these passages to get to her. It's much easier coming from the back way. Alright, let's finish this. A dragon scale shield. What's it doing with the dragon scale shield? It's not a dragon. And anyway, this is so frustrating. I killed all the enemies, but I don't get 100% because my green ally there doesn't count as part of my control. Mm, bunch of stuff. So, while well, there's been a lot of damage to the dam and all, that giant creature eventually thrashes around and dies. Even when it falls, it makes the ground shake. And what remains is the shining gold dragon. Uh, momentarily at least. Until it disappears in a puff of smoke and light. So Katarita appears in the middle of that, loses her buoyancy, and starts falling. Hey, she's back in our party. And so it's in and out, in and out, jeez. So Avar catches her again, even though he's like four turns away. And Fia is right in front of her. Apparently they've taken the time to resize her dress for when she's in teenager mode. Are you alright? This is great. Well, she's still unconscious. And gives out a moan that sounds like she's a bit in pain. But she doesn't seem to be, well, badly injured. She's injured here and there, but survivable. Alright. She asks Savara if she's okay. She seems like she will be. But the old man and them are going to need some help now. Because it's the old man we're talking about. He's probably still working on fixing this fucking dam. Man, what a trip, what a trip. You guys really helped me out. That old guy. Hey, old guy, do you remember that sickbed you were in? I've got a plan. You're going to be staying in that sickbed until the end of time. Huh. So anyway, he does actually have to retire to it. Overworked himself when he wasn't pulling heel and everything. And when that giant creature was destroyed, as of our suspected, he was still working on the dam. So even with Avaro and Dethelm and the old guy and all the rest of the craftsmen, they did finally get it put together. But Yep, here he is again. Don't give us his what a trip, what a trip, fall. 
Do you know how much we've been worried? Well, Avaro understands a bit being a craftsman himself. But this guy is just over the top. Well, he doesn't address Avaro, but instead Katorito. So she followed him. And he was surprised at how awesome she looked in that form. As he thought, Katorito really is something else. This old man just won't learn a goddamn lesson, will he? <laughs> he, he, far from it. The fact that he completed his work is really giving him a flash of pride, let's say. <laughs> if you hadn't come a Katorito, he wouldn't have been able to complete that job. Allow him to thank you. Well, that's true. If Katorito hadn't been there, that giant creature probably couldn't have been defeated. Navarro, have you checked your own stats? Ah, uh, anyway. And because you've saved this old man here. And furthermore, the people in the town down screen, stream. So that's quite a bit. Navarro thanks her as well. So, the two of us are thanking her. Is she gonna get all flustered? Maybe that's why she's not saying anything. I mean, she managed to turn into a, that full-fledged dragon all by herself this time. Avar thinks that she should be celebrating, but... Well, as you can see, she's had nothing to say in this conversation. In fact, she kind of looks like she's going to cry. Oi, oi, so, old guy blames it on Navarro. And tells Navarro to apologize. Why the hell should I? And anyway, what's wrong, Catherine? She was worried about him. <laughs> <laughs> so she's being straightforward with him and he's actually a little embarrassed he doesn't like to be the kind of person that other people worry for I guess but anyway he says she doesn't need to worry He'd, he was able to finish his uh, job up, after all. But she doesn't want him to go and disappear on his own again. She was so worried. Okay. He kind of hems and haws. Avaro leans in and gives him a little whisper. Apologize already. Okay, Avaro says it politely. I wouldn't, but Avaro does. So, so that, uh, Katarita, shinpai kakete sumanakatta. No, okay, okay. Katarito, I'm sorry for making you worry. So, that's what he says. Will you forgive him? Uh-huh. Well. Katharito glances at Avaro for a sec. Her face gets red and she looks back at the old man. And 
Now she admits that she became a full dragon at last. For a second, she's uh, got this look in her eyes like she's remembering something. So that's all right. Now that she's done it, that's a good thing. And furthermore, he would kind of like to show her awesome figure off to the other guys. But they weren't there. So, Katorito, now that you're freely able to transform into that, would you like to show him again? Well, um, she says it's alright, but it might break the house. <laughs> Don't worry about that. He says he'll fix it up in a flash. Leave off, old fart. Do you want to get your wounds even worse than they are? Hey, if you... There was a good one. If you have to go fixing things after her, you'll just make her worried even further. This time, stay in bed and heal up properly. Alright, he admits he'll stay in bed this time. He also admits that he caused a lot of trouble to Avaro. He doesn't apologize for it, but he admits it. What? Okay, Avaro tells him not to worry about it. Avaro, I should kick your ass until you kick his ass. Alright. Old man's entrusting Avaro with Katorito from now on. Although she's gotten her full form and everything, she still doesn't know the ways of the world fully. So, teach her well. <laughs> of course. Your wrath, or perhaps from now on we should be relying on her. No, oh, she'll do her best. <laughs> she said, Avaro says she's got a better face than before. Possibly expression. So, being able to get her full transformation on that means she's grown spiritually. Should be fun from now on. So, new skill, new form, another new skill. Alright, this explains the transformation. It's a different skill we have to use. And furthermore, the skill she had in her skill set that always reduced her fatigue has been removed. And instead we got another skill we can equip in its place. Or how we could just use a normal set of four skills. Now I'm about out of time, but there was something I wanted to mention from last time. I told you about the rolling stones in this level and the wind windblown stones in this level. I did that in my last part in order to get the 100% clear with lots of gold and all. But when you defeat them, they also drop, in the earlier one, sand dust, gold dust. In this later one, each of them drops a golden egg of Inarax. 
those are sale items and they actually sell for a lot of money. So if you're short on money, the earlier one can net you 4,000 and the later one 10,500. So obviously I haven't needed to grind for money, but those are good places, I assess. <laughs> magic beasts. I haven't even... I've only gotten that far with the magic beasts. Oh crap. And high level water elementals. Crap. All that work and I only got that much out of it, huh? That's right, most of the enemies were just one-star crap. And I didn't bother capturing them. Ooh. So, what's new is... Something for Katarito. Now I've got tons of materials, so let's see what I can do with that. Well, I told you about the lightning beast parts that I wanted. Apparently I still need two lightning beast skins and one lightning beast claw. Ah, uh, it's so bothersome. There are like five different parts they'll drop each time. Oh great, lightning beast claws go into... Eel's Thunder Sword. Does he already have one? Anyway. I was able to make a bunch of these for her. Well, yes. a few shards is better than none. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm gonna take apart all of my broken things. You know, the things that only exist in order to give me shards. And then I'm going to start arbitrarily upgrading things. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Oh, this is equipped on Katarito's new form. Yes. Sugida. It looks more like Cthulhu than any kind of dragon when you look at it from here. Yep, Katari took in apparently equipped it in all of her forms. Let's see. Oh. I'm upgrading. Now I'm going to take a look at... Yeah, I'm going to make that. Eel could use a really good lightning weapon. Yes. Oh, and now that I have it, I can make the improved version of it. Sure, hell, why not? I'm a sucker. And I just remembered. I got a red liquid off of one of those enemies. So if I... I wonder if I can make any. I need high-grade stone. Well, that's one, but I need three. Deed helm. Uh, I assume. 
Man, I've got a lot of money since I did those two money-making missions. Bingo! Now when I feel like it, I can put on fire resistance. I might do that before this trip back into Chapter 7, actually. Hmm. This weapon can only be equipped by her full dragon form. You know what? Cancel. Let's skip the weapons for now. Ah, oh, man, I don't want to hit and haw a whole bunch on... Wow, this dragon scale shield is pretty impressive. I prefer things that boost my defenses rather than my dodge rates. When I can get my hands on them anyway. Yes. Well, I'll get a good shield in the next chapter. Hmm. Interesting. But I'm gonna save that for somebody who really needs it. Hey, it's the Darkness Sword. I get one upgrade. That's expensive. Three Darkness Shards. Yes. Yes. So I've run yes. myself out of shards. I would like to take the time to grind for it, but I have a Let's Play to run. I can't just spend eight hours a day grinding up shit. So, yep. That'll do for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.